Well, guys, most of you likely don't know that the England women's team played the other night. This usually wouldn't be something I made a video on, but we all know what the BBC did last week, so it was worth seeing what they said this time round. Now, nah, for any you care, the England team won and are now in the final, but my interest was how the BBC and its presenters reported it following this sort of tripe. It was an historic eight-goal victory for England last night as the Lionesses secured their place in the quarterfinals, but all starting 11 players and the five substitutes that came onto the pitch were all white, and that does point towards a lack of diversity in the women's game. Yes, after that, and with the England team featuring at least 11 white girls, I had to check up on the BBC's reporting of this, and so far their race has not been mentioned once. Now this is obviously good news and could actually mean the BBC has learned a temporary lesson when it comes to making everything about race, you know, after getting trashed online for hating the white England team like they did last week. But even if that is the case, it won't last long because I'm sure within days they'll be back to their old race baiting tricks when really they should just be celebrating the team winning. Of course, it being the BBC, race is not the only thing that they can moan about or find a problem with as it now seems calling them lionesses is also problematic on the BBC. Yes, apparently some viewer wrote in to Women's Hour and complained about them being called lionesses or some shit. But to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a BBC staff member who just wrote it so that the BBC could talk about it, you know, without being blamed for trying to erase women or anything like that. I've had a couple of challenges for you both. You'll both be very equipped to do this working in sport. Uh, Anita, one to you. Do you like the, the term lionesses? Why not lions? Why do we have to call them lionesses? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. I think it's kind of one of those things that we genderify everything, don't we? So it's just become, but to be fair, it's been a great branding tool mm. for, for the, the, the national team and, and a way for fans to relate and connect with this group of players and its personal identity for, you know, to related to the women's team. So I, I kind of like it from that perspective. You well, know, you're, you're, it, a, you're a former England player. I doubt the person who's texted in is. So, you know, I, I wanted to hear your take on that and, <laughs> and what yeah. you thought of it. Anita. Now, thankfully, the guest sort of shot that down, even though the woke twat did comment on genderfying everything before supporting the term itself. But my point is that the BBC even brought it up. The question is obviously nonsensical woke bollocks that shouldn't even be entertained, but we know the BBC loves all that crap, don't they? Now, even if the BBC didn't say anything about it this time, I'm sure the race baiting fuck pigs on Twitter will be overly salty about an all-white team beating another all-white team, but to be honest, I can't be bothered to even look into the bullshit. You know they will be absolutely screaming about this, despite them same people having no problem with an African football team being all black, or athletics being dominated by black athletes like it is. Of course me, I don't care about any of it because I firmly believe in merit over everything, especially when it comes to bloody sport. Black athletes do well in athletics and so dominate it, which means that's how it should be. And if it so happens that a team of all white women are better at football than a mixed one, then so be that as well. The same is true either way in my mind. Sport is about winning and literally nothing more. Of course, being woke means the BBC and others can never think like that, so expect more of the same old anti-white tripe from them in the coming weeks, months and years. You know it's gonna bloody happen.